Welcome to Academic Dream Channel. As you know, it is your best choice classroom. From this channel, from last two months, we are serially discussing about the different important syllabus of B.Ed. and T.S. especially under G.U. Gohat University and in reference to Borland University. Dear friends, as you know that your B.Ed. entrance is very nearest in your shoulder and at the same time our discussion is also in the last part of current Indian education that is very important part of B.Ed. entrance syllabus and it is also very important topic under the part of current Indian education. What is the topic? The topic is RMSA. Under GU, current Indian education and is important part for B attendance and our topic is RMSA. So what is RMSA? RMSA means Rastriya Madhyamik Shiksha Uriya. Rastriya Madhyami Shiksha Uriya. That is a centrally sponsored scheme. It is the state scheme. Dear learners, you try to uh, remind it. Dear uh, friends, you try to realize it. It was not state policy or scheme. It was centrally sponsored scheme. So when it was launched, first time in India in 2009, in March 2009, in March 2009. So RMSA means Rastriya Madhyamik Shiksha Year launched in 2009 in the month of March. So you can say launched in March 2009. At that time, the Total scheme was led by. Total scheme was, uh, uh, I mean to say, uh, from all angles supported by then Prime Minister Manmohan Singh. So, dear learners, you have to know the references or root of RMSA. From the term you have understood RMSA, Rastriya Madhyami, Madhyami means secondary level. So, the scheme is for secondary level. So, if we go to the root of this word, we will get two more terms that is D, P, E, P, and that is. S S A. Try to realize their friends, you try to realize the relation. RMSA or Madhyami or secondary level. In 2009, it was launched in 2009 and target was to bring all the children from our country to the secondary level. That is universal secondary education. To ensure universal secondary education, within the year 2017. What was the mission? To bring all the children of our country to the secondary level within the year 2017. So that was RMSA. Now, if we go to the root of RMSA, then we will get two terms. One is DPEP, District Primary Education Program, and another is SSA, Sarva Shiksha So, DPEP in 1993-94, during that time it was launched, and SSA in 2001. Then, RMSA in 2009. That is a serial order. Now, there is a relation, root of RMSA is SSA. 
सर्वशिक्षा अभियान द स्कीम वाज फर अप टू अपर प्राइमरी दैट इज अप टू क्लास 8 एगेन आर एम एस ए फॉर माध्यमिक लेवल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एस एस ए एंड एट यूनिवर्सल प्राइमरी एजुकेशन फॉर ऑल इन इंडिया आर एम एस ए एगेन एंड एट ensuring secondary education for all the children in our country within the 2017 so road of rms lies in ssc and road of ssc lies in dpp and dpp 1990 94 ssc 2001 and rms 2009 so that is a same relation among the term rms dpp ss and serial order if you want to give serial order dpp is first then uh, second number is ss then third number is rms first one is dpp district primary education program 1993-94, second one is SSA 2001, third one is RMSA. Ultimate, you try to understand the same. Ultimate aim was to ensure total school education universal, universalization of total education up to school level. That means up to secondary level. That means up to class 12, not class 10. Up to class twelve, secondary education, higher secondary education, ultimately secondary education. The mission was actually the mission was to bring all the children in school. That means up to class twelve to bring all the children to the to school up to class twelve, and the mission will. Complete within 2017. That was the aim. So, what was the different facilities which was mentioned in the scheme to ensure universal secondary education? First of all, SSC that primary school should be within the one kilometer radius of the home of the child. So, if it is primary school P, then if it is home of the children, if it is home of the children, school and home there should be maximum one kilometer distance. That was the idea of SSA and DP. But RMS said, RMS said, RMS said the secondary school should be within five kilometer radius. That means there should not be more than five kilometer distance between home of children and the school, between the home of all children and the school. The secondary school should be situated in such a place so that it should not extend five kilometer, so that it should not be more than five kilometer. And higher secondary school, and higher secondary school, maximum seven kilometer, five to seven kilometer. So very important points of views are here. Very important points are there. Probably you will think that how I will face uh, the objective type MCQ question after learning this concept. Very well, you will get a number of questions from here in multiple choice. Full form of RMS, four options will be given. You will have to write the correct answer. When RMS was launched in March 2009, in April 2009. 
in May 2009 or in other way also. But right answer will be in March 2009. What is the route, immediate route of RMSA? It will be DPP or SSA. Actually, immediate route of RMSA is SSA. SSA was launched in 2001. Whether it is the, it is, uh, that RMSA is a central scheme or the state scheme, definitely it is central scheme. Then, according to RMSA, what should be the distance between the home and the secondary school of the children? 3 km, 2 km, 5 km. So, actually, the correct answer is 5 km. Higher secondary school and the home, distance between higher secondary school and home, definitely the answer will be in between 5 to 7. So, there will be a number of options 5 to 8. Five, uh, 5 to 6, 5 to 7, so this is the right answer. So dear learners, dear friends, you don't actually hinder after about multiple choice question. Rather, as I said before, you try to take the concept in very short form but precisely, clearly. Because from this very simple concept, RMSA, we have got at least 10 multiple choice questions. So if you learn one or two multiple choice questions in relation to RMSA, it may not be common for your exam. So I think so, you have understood the concept and uh, I hope so, you will successfully face your BA exam and you will get admission in different B.A. colleges. Thank you. See you in the next video. Thank you.